Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Pet Info World. The number of people worldwide infected with coronavirus is increasing rapidly day by day and so are the myths. But what is the role of pets in this outbreak? After a dog in Hong Kong being tested weekly positive for coronavirus, it has caused panic among many pet owners. So today I am here to share some information and also answer few common questions surrounding domestic animals and coronavirus. You are capable of spreading coronavirus when you are infectious. Although it is believed that coronavirus was first spread by wild animals, there is no such evidence to prove that animals are the carriers. We just have one case in Hong Kong where a dog was tested weekly positive for coronavirus but the officials say that the dog might have picked up the disease from a contaminated surface as the dog lived with the owner who was diagnosed with coronavirus. Currently, the dog is not showing any symptoms of coronavirus while the test results of dog were positive for coronavirus it doesn't mean that it is infectious and can pass it on. You should not kiss your pet at this moment. Hong Kong authorities are telling not to kiss your pets. This is because virus is highly infectious and is spreading rapidly. So we need to minimize the spread of germs. That means we need to keep good hygiene and safe distance. Just like we do with other people, we should also do the same with our pets. Because still there are so many things which are unknown. So please avoid hugging and kissing your pets so that you and your pet remain safe. We all know that pets are our family members and their safety matters too. We always want to do best for our pets. You might have seen some pets wearing masks, but this is not feasible according to officials as cats or dogs use the tongue to cool down and wearing a mask can make them feel uncomfortable. Also for humans, masks can only be useful if you are infected or you are sick. Hence, please don't use masks for your pets. If your pet is sick, don't panic. You just contact your vet as soon as possible and take their advice. And I request you, please don't abandon your pet. There are some cases reported where pet owners have abandoned their pets as their pet was sick. Also, there are some cases where the pet owners have killed their pets. So please don't do this with your pets as there is no evidence that pets are causing infection. Just keep good distance practice and good hygiene and this will help prevent the spread of disease. Pets are not at risk from coronavirus if you are symptom free. Pets can only spread disease if the pet's owner is infected with coronavirus as pet might carry the virus on its coat. Mostly the transmission of disease is from human to human. So if you have symptoms then please quarantine yourself and if you have a pet then you need to quarantine both you and your pet so that you can avoid spreading of disease. I hope I have shared all the information you need and also provided answers for most common questions you might be having at this time. So please stay at home and help break the chain of COVID-19. Be safe and don't forget to sanitize and wash your hands regularly and enjoy your pet's company. Like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet. See you in the next video then. Bye!